Hello and welcome back to the Wizarding Vault, the safest place in the Wizarding world. Today we will be taking a look at a few products that you can buy to help make yourself a magical Harry Potter Christmas. Let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, we're going to take a look at a few products that I picked up from Typo when I was going around the shops. They've got quite a large collection of Harry Potter products which you can pick up. They're not very expensive. First up, we have the House Reveal Candle. Now, I don't know about you guys, but you can't go through winter without having at least one candle. It just makes your house feel so much more Christmassy. Now, I particularly like this one because the outside is just super pretty and it's got with the gold foiling around the edge and actually doesn't smell too strong because I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the cheaper candles that you can get end up smelling way too strong and you end up just buying them for the decoration rather than the actual candle itself. Now, each of the four candles all come in the same scent, which is Mystic Pine. I misread this when I was looking through on the website because I thought that each house had a different smell depending on which one you got, which would help you figure out which house you're buying. However, there is a little trick if you're going around Typo and you're trying to figure out which house you're buying. Thankfully, the girl behind the till was actually really super helpful when we went to Typo and she made sure that we had picked up the correct house that we wanted. This is important because each of the four candles burns slightly differently. So depending on which house you've picked up, they actually burn through from a white soy wax into a colored wax, which will be different depending on the house color that you've actually picked up. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm a dickhead. What? There's actually a little tab on the back of the box so you don't have to read. Like, you can actually peel this back to reveal a colour which tells you which house it's in. Now, there is actually a tab bit just on the back of the box which allows you to peel open and tells you which house you picked up. However, this is a little bit hidden away if you're not looking for it. So, I actually found it easier to just look on the barcode and it actually tells you which house you've picked up. This candle was actually £12. I don't think it was too bad for a jarred candle in my opinion. It doesn't actually smell that strong, which is nice so it's not overpowering because I know pine can be quite an overpowering smell. So just have some of these candles dotted around. You can get all four if you really want to, or you can just stick with the house that you're in. The next two items were these two pressed ornaments. So we've got a Slytherin one and a Gryffindor one. So these were six pounds each, and I thought they were quite good for the price that you paid. So I brought these instead of the ones from the Warner Brothers Studio Tours because they are of a lighter metal and what I found with the ones from the Studio Tours is they actually end up bending the branches whereas these ones I'm hoping won't because they're slightly lighter in weight. So even though they are the cheaper option, they're probably actually better off than the more expensive ones. The last item is this set of three Hogwarts house um, Christmas wrapping paper. Now only one of them actually states it's a Christmas wrapping paper. The other two you could get away with using for birthdays as well. And these are only six pounds for three. And I'm surprised that Typo weren't making a bigger deal with it because I actually nearly completely walked past this on the way to the till. So this year I actually decided to get two calendars. The first calendar is the Lego Harry Potter calendar. Now, because I used to work at Legoland, I would always see these calendars get in stock and they would sell out extremely quickly. Now, they are quite expensive if you don't get them when they're on sale. I personally think they are actually worth the money because they come with all of these Lego pieces and it cre almost creates like a little mini Lego set once you've built it all. The actual calendar itself opens up and it gives you this nice kind of backdrop 
for when you build everything. You get quite a lot within the set. And to be honest, there's nothing more than the sound of a Lego box shaking to kind of remind you of Christmas. Now, the second calendar that I got was, um, this calendar is almost like a one-off purchase because once you've got it, it, you can use this over and over again because of the quality of the doors. They actually close quite well. And that is the Harry Potter um, Christmas pop-up advent calendar. When you open it up, it has a pop-up Christmas tree with a picture of the Great Hall at Christmas, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And within each of the doors is a ornament to place onto the tree. So when you're done with Christmas this year, you can then pack it all away and have it for next year as well, which for the price and the fact that it's reusable is really, really good. So I'm actually gonna combine all of this stuff with some of the stuff that I've bought previously in other years. Um, that's some of the stuff that I bought from the Warner Brothers Studio Tours last Christmas, which includes like a stocking, stocking hook, um, and a few of the ornaments, which you can probably just about see in the background there. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for any other Christmassy ornaments or trinkets that you could probably find lying around in little corner shops that might not necessarily be Harry Potter, but fit really well into a wizardy Christmas themed decorations. I'd love to hear if you guys have actually got any of this stuff that I've mentioned in the video, or if you've got anything lined up to get for Christmas, leave it in the comment section below and let me know what you guys are hoping to get for Christmas, if any of the Harry Potter stuff out there that you haven't already got. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe down below and have a slitherific day from me to you.